I'm Jeff Olmark, Principal Engineer with Marine Municipal Water District. I manage our design and construction group. Jewel Creek is in the National Park Service land just north of Samuel P. Taylor Park. The Cross Marin Trail in this area runs south from Sir Francis Drake Boulevard at Platform Bridge down into Samuel P. Taylor State Park. What we now call the Cross Marin Trail was originally a railroad grade used in the lumber industry at the turn of the century. In about 1961, Marin Municipal Water District obtained property to install a transmission main from Nicasio Reservoir to the San Geronimo treatment plant. The Nicasio transmission line is a very important source of water supply to the residents of Marin. It carries water from Nicasio Reservoir to the San Geronimo treatment plant, and it's the only source to bring water from either Nicasio Reservoir or Sulahuli into Marin County. In 2005, after the heavy storms New Year's Eve, we came out here and found that the seven-foot culvert through Jewel Creek had failed. That, that was a problem. It not only threatened the environment, but it also threatened the transmission main. When we started this project, we were able to excavate down, remove the existing culvert, and began preparation for the new arch culvert. Once that was accomplished, the contractor backfilled the dirt over the new culvert, replaced the pipeline, and restored the bike path. I'm Mike Reichmuth. I'm a fishery biologist for the National Park Service. The Loganese Creek watershed is an important uh, watershed for coho and steelhead in this region. Coho and steelhead are endangered and threatened. In Loganese Creek, we actually have a fairly robust uh, coho population. Uh, it's still a fraction of the numbers we saw historically, but in the region it's an important uh, recovery population that we hope will continue uh, to increase in size as we, as we do restoration projects such as this one. We're standing here at the mouth of Jewel Creek and the main stem of Loganese Creek. Loganese Creek may seem like a gentle, nice creek for fish right now, but during storm events, it's actually a not a hospitable place. Water is rushing behind me, and creeks like Jewel Creek here provide a nice uh, refuge for these smaller fish. The new culvert is fish friendly because it's wider and larger. It actually allows for water to pass through and logs, rocks, and everything to pass through. It also allows for fish to go upstream easily. It also has what we call a natural stream bottom, which means that it has natural cobbles and gravels, which uh, the fish can use and actually can even live in, in, inside the culvert if they want to. The Jewel Creek Fish Restoration Passage Project was really a win-win-win. And the wins being, it was a win for the environment. We are protecting the Lagunitas Creek from being damaged with uh, spoils being washed away from the broken culvert. We're also increasing the capacity of the culvert so that fish can eventually move from Lagunitas up into Jewel Creek. That is a really good enhancement for the environment. We've also protected our water supply from Nicasio and Sulahuli into Marin County by protecting that pipeline uh, where the culvert had failed. And lastly, it's, it's a win for the enthusiasts that like to use the park. It's a beautiful park and it's used by hikers and joggers and it's a wonderful place to recreate. <laughs>